Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number second. And in question number second, we have to write four solutions for each of the following equations. So we already know that solution is basically the value of x and y which is satisfying this particular linear equation. So for that, for that, first of all, we have to x and y. First of all, put any value of x. Let's suppose value of x is 0. So, if you put x is equal to 0, so this is plus y is equal to 7. So, this becomes 0 and the value of y becomes 7. So, this must be the first solution. Means, the value of x and y if you put 0 and 7 in this equation, so this equation becomes, or you can say this is satisfying equation this, so these must be the solutions for this equation. And satisfying means when we put this equal to 0, so the right hand side and left hand side becomes equal. So now put x is equal to 1, putting x is equal to 1, so this is 2 into 1 plus y is equal to 7, so this is y and 7 and this 2 when shifted to that side become minus 2 the value of y become 5. So in this case when we put x is equal to 1 the value of y become 5. Similarly you can put x is equal to 2 putting x is equal to 2 so 2 into 2 plus y is equal to 7 this is 4 plus y is equal to 7, the value of y is actually 7 minus 4, which is 3. So, these are the 3 solutions, or you can say 3 set of solutions for this particular linear equation. Similarly, you can find out the fourth or the remaining solution. You can put there 3 and similarly solving, you will be able to find the question. In this question, again, you have to find value of x and y satisfying the equation so first of all put x is equal to 0 so putting x is equal to 0 so n into 0 plus y is equal to 9 this is 0 so the value of y becomes 9 so when x is equal to 9 uh, sorry when x is equal to 0 value of y must be equal to 9 similarly putting x is equal to 1 so this is n into 1 plus y equals to 9 so this is n plus y equals to 9 so the value of y must be 9 minus n so when you put x is equal to 1 the value of y must be equal to 9 minus n similarly putting x is equal to 2 so putting x is equal to 2 this is 2 into n plus y is equal to 9. So value of y must be equal to 9 minus 2 n because this is 2 n and shifted to that side it will become minus 2 n. So when we put x is equal to 2 the value of y becomes 9 minus 2 n. And similarly you can find the fourth solution for this particular question and the third question similarly can be solved but we have to do is make this table or if simply you can have to put any value for x and you have to find the value of y while solving this particular linear equation and this is how you can solve any linear equation or you can say find out any solution for any linear equation thank you